Okay, I'm preempting a video that's coming next. Um, I just had to clean up my office. I had to put a scarf on, refigure my hair, but you'll see in a second. Um, I watched Emily Lay. Um, I'm pretty sure I pronounced it the right way. Emily Lay of um, now Emily Lay of Paper, who was another attendee at the Making Things Happen Intensive, um, do her first video blog, and it was something that um, actually Laura Casey recommended to me as well. So, um. I like watched Emily's video and within seconds went and put on my photo booth and just started talking and um yeah definitely like didn't clean up the mess that I just cleaned up behind me but um I tried to redo it afterwards and I've tried to re redo it and I don't know take something out or try to edit it or whatever maybe but you know what it's 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 me it's real and um I seriously can't say what I just said in, in that video and have it understand anything and it's all about me. You'll see my hands go crazy and um, things like that. So preempting this awesome video next, you can definitely tell <laughs> um, my husband is still on pain meds, still have on heavy pain meds from his surgery this week. So I'm just warning you ahead of time. Um, no hair, no makeup, no nothing, no cleaning. Um, really live how it is here. Um, right now today on the day that I need to get lots of stuff done but I want to share with you just a quick little moment about <clears throat> the making things happen um, awesome intensive and there'll be more way more about it um, later this is just a little tidbit um, so happy holidays and enjoy hey everybody um, it's me from my desk here this wonderful messy office um, this awesome crazy hair um, I'm flying in late last night um, and with this huge snowstorm coming, I'm just digging in a little on my computer before I'm going to get back to the, the essence of the day. But, um, wow. I can't even tell you about how these last two days have been and all these people I've met. And, um, I've today actually spoken to two people, um, that I've been pretty close with or even, like, a couple of my really great friends about this experience. And, like, literally, like, my body, everything, I'm on fire. Like, I, I'm on fire. Um... I don't even know where to start, but I'm um, just going to go with it. So I had a wonderful time, wonderful, wonderful time um, at the Making Things Happen 2010 watercolor event in Florida. Um, it was a quick little trip, um, and honest to goodness, doubted it for a while. Like, is it really worth flying out there? I mean, it costs us a good amount of money to go. Should Matt go with? Should um, my husband, Matt, by the way? <laughs> um he just had surgery last week. My foot's been goofy, but you know, honestly, it was awesome. And I really felt that I should go. And that's kind of, um, what happened, but just met really great, amazing people. Um, and just had a great time. So, um, <clears throat> read this book on the way home, crush it. Um, by Gary Vaynerchuk, Vaynerchuk, I forgot how to say it. Um, and I actually had heard about him from um, a couple other case studies I did at work work. And um, he's the wine guy that took his um, dad's business or his business now to another level just by doing video blogs, talking to people, figuring things out. Um, this is funny. I do a lot with my hands. See? Woohoo. Yeah. Okay. I'm over. I'm over it. But um, great book. Great read. I actually am in love with my plane flying lately. Um just traveled a couple of places this, this fall and this winter at the end of 2009. And like, seriously, flying on a plane is the only place where I can shut down. Um, I can't get online. I can't check my emails. Um, either I read a book, I write, or I listen to music, which are all things I love, but I guess I just don't find time for them as often as I should anymore. Um, I think Matt's coming downstairs right now. Maybe not. Oh, here comes my puppy. Aww. Here's Maya. This is my dog. That's a little puppy. Hi, can you say hi? Who's that? I'm talking Ooh. to myself. I'm going to put a video vlog together. So here's Matt, and here's my dog. You're a twin? So that's you? Yeah, that's me. And you're talking to yeah, you. So sick. All right, all right. He's going to take the dog upstairs, and I'm going to finish, because I already feel nerdy that he came in and interrupted Nice me. talking to you, Gina. Okay, bye. Okay, get out of the room. I'll continue. Okay. Isn't it funny that I feel nerdy for my own husband? But I do. So, yeah, I'm excited. I can't even tell you how. I don't look excited. I'm tired right now. But, like, my legs are shaking. My body's shaking. My veins have been shaking ever since this awesome event. So, I'm just really, um, I'm really pumped at where I'm going to go and what I'm going to do and things that I'm going to 
go along and do with it. So this is just me. Maybe this is me for reflecting right now, and I will talk to you soon. And um, there'll be a big blog post soon, and maybe a couple other video blog posts, because I this is going to be awesome. I can tell you. Seriously. Here we go. And lastly, I just want to thank um, Laura Casey and... Jeff Holt and Kyle Barnes for um, opening themselves up and sharing um, their amazing insight and, and, and just themselves and just putting themselves into something that they love to do and, sh and letting me be a part of it. I was one of the scholarship winners um, that Laura put out there and it's, I'm, I'm just so amazingly thankful for the situation and if you haven't um, gone and done Laura's blog post on really um, getting fired up and, and making things happen, you absolutely need to do that. And if in any way that speaks to you or that um, you just feel like it's right, you really definitely need to go to one of the intensive, um, excuse me, intensives that she's doing. I think she just announced yesterday she's doing one in Minneapolis um, in January. So uh, once I have that information, I'll let you know about it. But once again, I just want to say thank you to them because they're amazing and I can't wait to talk about it more.